Taking a live look at the San Francisco skyline and the Millennium Tower just to the left of Salesforce, illuminated in blue. Tonight, major concerns over the safety of the tower with the big fix causing the luxury building to sink even more. KPIX 5's Andre Borba is live in San Francisco with details on the disastrous consequences if the tower is not fixed correctly. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, we're talking about moving more than an inch, sinking more than an inch just in the past month. And a geotechnical engineer that we spoke with said 26% of all of the movement on this property has happened in the past year. We could have that building tilt another six inches or more. While the stabilization work has stopped at 301 Mission Street, home of the Millennium Tower, geotechnical engineer Lawrence Karp says the northwest lean and sinking of the 58-story building has not stopped. This movement we see in the last couple of months is just beginning. It's not going to just all of a sudden, hey, let's stop. It doesn't work that way. There were two fixes proposed several years ago. One done from inside the building by screwing pilings through the foundation mat. That one was designed by engineers in New York who also designed the rebuilt World Trade Center. The second fix, the one the city chose, called for external pilings along Mission and Fremont streets that would carry up to half of the building load. CARP was asked by the city to review both plans. Against his advice, the external fix was chosen. One of the ways they got to sell this, this, this repair or this, this stabilization is they said it would improve seismic uh, response. But actually that's not true because uh, the, the forces come through the, from the ground and they hit the base of the building and they depend upon a uniform structure. He says the external fix is not balanced and a quake could exacerbate that. The weak part will move and the strong part will stay there, so it'll rotate, which causes more loads and it, it can be disastrous. Now, as of right now, the stabilization work here at 301 Mission Street, the home of Millennium Tower, is on pause for two to four weeks while engineers evaluate what is happening with the ground, the soil, all of the layers that they are really digging into to put in those pilings. At the moment, that's where it stands. We don't know exactly what the next plan is, the next step is. That has not been announced yet at this point, though CARP said there is still time to go in and do that internal stabilization that he was a fan of in the first place. It's all very unsettling, to, so to speak, to hear about all this, especially for the folks that are living in that building. All right, Andrea, thank you.